she told me she could sort of sneak me in as like a caterer if I wore a suit and tie. So she's like, look, it's in a month. And if I were you, I would do your research. And I did just that. I watched all his movies. I read his eight, you know, 800 page biography. And I finally get there. And sure enough, Spielberg, you know, in the beginning of the party is like 20 feet away from me. But he's talking to like George Lucas and Jeffrey Katzenberg and Jack Black. And the flinch is in full effect. And finally, when it was my time to like try to make my move, I was completely frozen, mouth wired shut, feet turned to stone, and I lost my chance. And I go to the bathroom and I told myself, and again, this goes back to what you had mentioned, if I don't push through this, my entire journey will be over before it started. And I go back to the party and I just, you know, Spielberg's in one side of the room, I'm on the other. Spielberg's on one (laughs) side, I go to the other, and it's this like really awkward dance. And finally, I see him walking towards the exit. And again, my fear of failing was now even more powerful than my fear of getting rejected. So I just start sprinting through the party. Now I'm dodging waiters. I'm going around to old ladies. (laughs) And I finally go up to him and I'm like, Mr. Spielberg. And he turns around. And I remember like his eyebrows shooting up and he puts his arms in the air and I like coil back. And he gives me this big hug. And he's like, I've been on a college campus all day and you're the first student I've met. And I'm like, can I ask you a question? He's like, absolutely. Just walk, if you just walk with me, which by the way, I've learned is a great little thing that always works. If you just walk with someone to their car, what are they, what are they going to say? They're not going to say no. Right. So I'm walking with him to his car and he asked me what I'm working on. And I just, I didn't have a pitch. I just started pouring my heart out to him, telling him about this dream. And finally I'm like, Mr. Spielberg, would you, would you do an interview for the book? And I see like his jaw clench, you know? And he looks at me and he's like, you know, I don't do interviews unless it's to promote a movie or for my foundation. And then he looked up and I remember like him squinting, even though the sun wasn't bright and almost as if he was debating something in his mind. And he comes back and looks at me and he goes, you know what? I'm going to give you a maybe. (laughs) <laughs> go out and do this. Go get all your other interviews and come back to me. And I was like, wow, like, thank you so much. And he gave me a hug and he walks away. He goes to his car. And then before I can leave, he turns back around, walks back toward me and goes, I really meant that. I believe you can do this. I don't know what it is, but I believe you can make this possible. And from there, he gave me one of the most important things anyone can give you, which is that possibility. Yeah, chance. Yeah. And what's so interesting to me about that is you have this idea, you sit down with your friends, and now it's happening. Yeah. And the first crucial moment, you're like, I don't have a pitch. I just got to go with it. I just got to go with my gut. And I think a lot of times we had Oren Kloff on, Uh, last month talking about pitching. I I think a lot of times we feel like there's a magic phrase or a magic key that we just need to say the right words and it's going to happen. And we lose out on that heartfelt, genuine moment where, you know what, I'm just going to be me. Yeah. And this is my chance. And it resonated. And he gave you the maybe. Yeah. (laughs) So you ran home and told everyone, I got a maybe from Steven Spielberg. This book is happening. (laughs) 